Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have demonstrated the system call fork and how to use that system call to create multi-process in C++ program. In this short video, we are going to discuss another system call EXEC. So the Linux EXEC system call, the EXEC system call is used to execute a file. So execute a binary which is residing in an active process. It means in one program calling another executable sense. So here's on the Linux. I have two program, CPP program. One we call the main process.cpp, another is called the sub process.cpp. These two are both very, very simple program. So let's see. So on the main process program, it's just like uh, the hello world program. We have main function and uh, which we print in the beginning of the main process and we got the PID using the gate PID functions. And then we print another lines, end of main process, we still put the PID number. And uh, so, but the other program is a sub process CPP, which is a different sub process CPP, which we get using have a pretty simple tool. We use and get the program and the with argument. So we start up from the beginning of sub process with the PID of this sub process. And if the argument uh, bigger than two, this means that we may call this program with uh, argument. And then we will be printed what argument uh, pass in the program. And then we print out uh, the end of a sub process. So let's try to make all so this compile this and uh, if we run the sub process with uh, argument uh, arg1 so what we can see so the program to print out of the beginning of a pro sub process the process id is uh, 4007 and the argument zero is the program name and the argument one is the one we in the command line to pass by so if we say the run the main process, so this main process is only printed the, the main process is begin, starting, beginning and the ending of main process, which is the process ID is 4008. So now let's try to see main process. So if we try to, from main, the example we are going to show is we try to use through main process program to call in the executable of sub process. To use in this one, the one way is using, using the exec. So we just put one says between the beginning or the ending, we just call exec function which is uh, this club so exec and the way what the first parameter is the executable name which is the sub process and we put a dot slash because uh, sometimes we try to make sure and running the same directory and we pass the argument zero and the argument one and the last is now at the end so we just uh, save this and uh, we try to make so oh, oh we, we try just to make this one we just said and if we try to run run this and this one will be called sub process and the pass 
the argument one, argument, argument zero, argument one to the process. Let's see what's going on, right? So you can see now the round is us. We beginning the main process. And before we do, we beginning the main process. And then we call the sub process. So beginning the sub process with the same process PID. And then we pass the sub process with argument zero and argument one. And we end of sub process. The funny sense you hear is when we before we have the last line which print out the ending of the main process, right now it's not running that anymore. Why? So let's go to another terminal. So this is VI main process. So because when we code this EXEC system call, it will be old executable to this program. And then when this program end, it doesn't return the back. So in this, so the old following line will not execute anymore. So this is the uh, what EXEC function code does. So when you code EXEC, all the process will be passed to this executable. And when this executable terminated, it will be terminated. So the following the printing will not execute anymore. That's why when we saw the result, uh, before we have uh, two line when we call the when we have a starting and the, and the ending and after that we for the main program we only have a starting and we don't have ending but we have all the beginning and ending of our sub process so in order to making the main program able to come back we can use the preview video we introduced the fork and the wait system call. So what we can do is uh, if fog equal equal zero else. So it means this When we fox equal equal zero, it means uh, it's a child process. So we create another proce uh, process with a new process ID, with a child process ID, and then we run this uh, XIC system call to execute this sub process. And after that, we try to exit zero. Let's finish this. finish the sub process. And then on the main parent process, we can go use PID T child P PID equal wait. Uh, we just uh, don't give this a parameter. And then when the child of finished, then we just uh, say print this uh, ended and in the process. <laughs> so let's uh, let's uh, put a two put 
for the PID and so that's a two. It child PID is a CPID and the gate PID is a parent PID is a current PID. So Let's uh, save this and uh, right now let's go back to another terminal. Let's uh, make what's the main process. So now we recompile and we run this again. So you can see we have a beginning of a main process, PID is 4212, and then we using the fork, it started a new process, PID is the child PID 4213, and then we're running the sub process. When sub process is finished, we back to the main PID, which child process, this one ended, and uh, continue with uh, the main process is a 4212 and our last line print ending main process is executed. So this is the one way using system call to execute uh, another file executable and then return the back to the main executable. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.